Here is an island out in the middle of the ocean. No land in sight, no food, people, or anything. This is literally just me out here. A man with a dream and a vision. You see this? It's a pile of sand, right? You know what I see? Potential. It's update 1.20. I have one life. So I'm going to try and turn this place into a whole continent. Sit back and relax while I try and survive 100 days on this deserted island. Day one. Here we are. Wow, would you look at that? We are all alone. I spawned on this deserted island with absolutely nothing around me. So the only thing I could do is dive in the water. Luckily, there was literally a shipwreck just right off the coast. And when I swam down over to it, I found enchanted boots with frost walk. So now instead of swallowing water every time I try and swim around for too long, I could just walk on the ice. I wandered around in this vast space of nothingness until I found this. Okay, how does this even happen? What am I looking at? I freed a bunch of chicken from the matrix basically and continued on my journey to find something around me other than just water. Do you think I found something? Well, I did. It was another ship, of course, where I spent the day loading up on the most basic things to survive out here. The chest down here had food and a treasure map leading me off to who knows where. Y'all are not ready for this edit I'm about to do. Boom. Yeah, clean. It was lonely on this island. There were chicken here. It was a tough decision, but your boy brought him over. Yeah, they're just going to be trapped on the boats for all their days. And later, I went mining. Now we have stone things. Nice. Yeah, the chicken are not amused. I made a furnace, crafted doors so I could somehow breathe underwater, and did a bit of digging around here. The next day, I left out on the boats in search of new lands. Yo, we got a hitchhiker too? We're picking them up. Let's go. We're, on, we're doing this for the journey, guys. I found a treasure map along the way, but both maps I had were literally the same thing, so that was just great luck. We made it to land. Finally, I got trees and everything here you could get. I touched grass, and I, I was not trying to pull all-nighters every night out here, so I needed to find a sheep to get wool. My brain wasn't, it wasn't big enough at the moment to figure this map out for some reason. It took me a minute to figure out how to walk in the right direction. Okay, I think I've figured the map out finally. Where to go, what to do. Uh, there's like so many options out here right now. I was living in an era of abundance out here. Anything I wanted was, was right in front of me. The only thing stopping me from achieving my dream, bro, was this thing right here, man. This bee, bro, you do not. You do not want these hands, man. I crossed a bunch of biomes, and now finally I would find this thing called happiness. Bro, do not interrupt this for me. I went to sleep because I didn't want to put up with the thousand mobs chasing after me throughout the night. It's the next day, and this actually was loaded. On day three, I was already out here finding diamonds and iron everywhere. Oh, remember that bee? Yeah, I said goodbye to it and its nest for no reason. Just chilling. Okay, why, why'd I even do that, bro? This cow was going to do some great things. I've got, got faith in the cow. Okay, what am I even doing, bro? Is it just a cow? When it's just you out here all alone on a deserted island, you'd understand. I went off back on the long journey to the deserted island. When I got back to the island, the whole zoo decided to follow me back. I placed the saplings and stored everything I found in a chest before cooking up everything I got from the mainland. Yo, we are eating good today, finally. It's been like three days without eating. Somehow a dolphin just jumped around in here and it was literally just flipping around going crazy. The trees were doing what trees do. Why'd I even put that in? They're trees, bro. So I chopped them down and continued my day trying to slowly make this tiny square I was on bigger. Somehow I remembered to make torches in time. That could have been bad. I recycled the trees and finally made the tools that were iron so I could just make one of these satisfying parts. That was great. Great. On day four, the mining was over. Overall, I got some decent stuff, but nothing to go crazy about. I placed the sugar cane from earlier and left off to pursue my hopes and dreams in the big land. So after I got wool, I went and found a dog. The thing is, I didn't have any bones to tame it, so I couldn't bring it back to the base, unfortunately. I picked up flowers along the way because it would just be lame if it was a floating desert in the middle of the ocean. I climbed a mountain, entered a cave, found a coal, and parkoured across these trees until I spotted an upside down ship. Here I found another map and armor trims and pieces of iron. It was almost night, so I got another cow to 
bring back to the island so I could make a farm. Yeah. I did small things like extend the chest around here and pulled an all-nighter just mining and expanding the island. Bro, you got some crazy thoughts mining down here at 3 a.m. I have no idea what this place, bro. What am I going to do on, what's this going to be on day 100? What is, I don't even know. I'm thinking I'm just going to build a bunch of farms everywhere and then something crazy after that. On day five, I began making the cow paradise. What is that? Yeah, j literally the most basic farm possible. Getting the cow in was a bit tricky, but eventually it worked out. I mined dirt underwater and that was getting annoying. So I left back to the mainland and found a random island to just go tear apart. I spent the entire day there just hitting dirt and returned to the island to expand the base some more. Yo, how many trees I wonder am I gonna break in this video? I was gonna make a joke about breaking the trees, but I, I think they're all overused by now, to be honest. I wanted to make an area for the chicken, so I kept expanding and crafted the oak fences. And here we go, Chick-fil-A is formed. Uh, the next day I planted wheat so the cows would have something to eat. Bro, I didn't even mean for that to rhyme. The trees around here were lacking, so I extended the island to place all these things around here. I think I'm a bit over ambitious with how big this place is gonna be. This is huge. Then finally broke down more of the trees I had. I was regretting deciding to make a legit continent instead of building a little small wholesome island out here. But once you've decided the path, there is no going back. We are all in. Some friends visited me that night, so I made a shield and said hi. Yo, what's up? How you doing? We get a lot of visitors out here just alone on the island. Then the annoying flying things pulled up, so yeah, that was not fun. Somehow I almost died to these things again. If I would have died right there, my upload schedule, it would have gone back another month or two. At least these nights weren't boring now, and I was visited by creepers and zombies while digging until the morning. And then I just went back to the, the casual sailing life. I placed more dirt making an outline for the island and created a section for a mob grinder I was going to build. Not too sure how the mob grinder is going to turn out because this is a deserted island. I don't even know if it's going to work. I crafted the chests and hoppers for it and it was getting close to night. This thunderstorm was just annoying me the whole day, but I decided to literally just embrace it at this point. The next day I began building the mob grinder. I could just make a little montage for you, but I'll go through the details. I needed 10 stacks of dirt and wood and spent the entire day and night building this. and still didn't have enough to finish it by the end of the day. On the next day, I watched the sunrise from this nice view here. Today, I saved the trees while getting stalked by a moving one. Yesterday, I used all the resources I had on the mob destroyer and somehow was still missing pieces to this. So I went down to the mines, collected the dirt, and just explored farther down here. While walking around, I stumbled across a giant underground cave. Bro, luckily you can just breathe with doors. I would be dead. While down here, I found some lapis and it opened up at the top where I got some iron. I walked around this place for a bit, but didn't find anything else. So I went back to the surface. I smelted everything that I got and crafted a gold pickaxe and some iron tools. I was minding my business, just collecting wood when this dude decided to pull up on me. Bro thinks he's the main character out here. I planted a sugar cane and spent the rest of the night mining in the caves. After finding a whole lot of everything, basically, I returned to the surface and crafted a diamond pickaxe and an axe. Broke a lot of trees. I thought a nature documentary crew was about to pull up. Why, why did I write that down? I was casually climbing up the mob grinder. Then a skeleton went full try hard on me, trick shot me off basically. And I realized I didn't have any armor. So I made iron armor and an area for the sheep. Yo, I'm broke. I'm literally broke. Spent all my money on iron armor. All right, when I get up to that mob grinder, there's gonna be like a whole army waiting for me. So it's gonna be tough. Yeah, I was prepared to go up there and take on Spartans 300. There was nothing there. That's tough. I was hyped actually, I was hyped. I built a roof over this until the morning of day 12 and put down the trap doors. Added the water. And finally, this was finished. Yeah, nothing spawned from it. 
I don't know why. Literally, I, I think it was because they started spawning down in the caves. I decided to do something productive and planted sugarcane. Then brought the cows into their fancy home over here. And things actually started falling from the mob grinder. Yo, we have, we've done it. This is, right, this is some advanced technology. Day 14. Today I explored around here and found a des desert, a desert village. Finally, an actual civilization that wasn't the zoo I had back on my island. I rode around some camels, kind of took everything from here I could basically. And this villager just hopped in the boat, didn't even say a word. So off we went. I tried finding a way out of here in the water, but there wasn't one and I had to build a bridge. When there isn't a way out, you've got to make your own. We have captured a villager. Success. I spotted a chicken swimming in the middle of the ocean. Said hi. And by the end of the night, we were back on the base. The villager, of course, just went right to sleep. And I, on the other hand, had to pull an all-nighter, planting the bamboo and feeding the animals. It's a tough job out here for a deserted islander. Now we got a villager though, so we're chilling. I went back to the mainland to try and get another villager here, but forgot it was night. So that meant I got ambushed throughout the rest of the night. The next day, I made friends with this dog and created an entire river to transfer villagers easier. Yo, this, we have literally created a river. We're altering the uh, terrain, yes. Why do I even say anything? Dumb, bro, dumb. The clouds started crying after hearing that one right there, and I'm not too sure what the villagers were thinking, but I brought another back to the island to make a villager farm and planted another thousand trees around the base. But I was lacking in diamonds and a lot of other things. I didn't want this pickaxe and axe I had to break, and I'd just be stuck with iron, so I went mining for diamonds. These dudes were not about it. They were not. Look at that. My presence struck fear into them, and they exploded. What am I saying, boy? Yeah. I kind of just walked around here placing torches, really, and found a diamond, then got lost. Guys, I've been walking in circles trying to find a way out of here and I still haven't found a way out of here. That's, this is tough. There was iron smelting in the furnace that I collected and that iron was used to make buckets to collect lava and water. And I got even more lost and met someone that seemed to be even more lost than me. Bro, man has literally been down here for his whole life. Then the whole clan showed up on me. Yeah, you know what? I tried, but nah. That's not gonna work. I made it to the spawner they were coming from and got rid of that. Not too bad. Got some decent stuff in the chest. I'll take it. Bro, I'm not trying to die right now. I, I'm not. Yo, I'm out of here. Nope. Somehow I got attacked and nearly died down here as well. So great. Yeah. I was done with the cave. So I got out of there and made it to the surface with six diamonds and too much iron than I knew what to do with. I smelted everything, said hi to the villager dude and made more chests so I had a place to put this stuff. Yeah, I still needed to build a chest room, but just kept pushing it off. For now, we're just, we're throwing our items on the sand. Yo, here you go, man, I got you. Got some carrots, you're welcome. I made more beds to sleep. And remember the thousand trees I planted? Well, the island is a whole forest now. Instead of chopping down all the trees right away, I decided to get the leaves out of them with the shears before heading to sleep. On the next day, I went through a lot of shears getting leaves. Bro, there is a thousand sheep and three chickens. That is tough. Oh, I need more wheat seeds. Yes. I forgot I planted sugarcane around the base, so I harvested that. Then turned that into books. And turned that into bookshelves. Yes, because next we had to build an enchantment room. I crafted an enchantment table and now it was time to do what I was putting off this whole time. Chopping down the entire forest and the bamboo. Yeah, just forgot about the bamboo. Here I'll do one of those satisfying compilations you see in literally every single hardcore video. Wow, it's day 18. You know what's tough when you look up and you see there's like a bunch of floating leaves? Cause now I gotta climb all the way back up here and chop down all the leaves. I harvested the plants and fed the mobs, then used all that iron I had from mining to craft an anvil. Instead of building the enchantment room like I said I was gonna do, 
Instead, I began to start something amazing. Y'all ready for this? A house. Bro, I have been homeless the past 18 days living life as a vagabond out here at sea. As you already know, I'm trash at building, but you know what? We make it work. I spent the nights building and... Here is the masterpiece. Yeah, it, it's pretty much, it's just a square. Humble beginnings out here on the island. This is just a square, but we, we're gonna make this. This is gonna be like some Mr. Beast deserted island type stuff. Hey, you wake up, y'all. Time for your new home. Okay, I took it too far, didn't I? To turn this place into an island with sand, I had to place wood or something else underneath of it, so sand blocks just wouldn't fall into the abyss of the ocean. I spent the majority of day 19 building out this platform to place sand on. I got some sugarcane and bamboo. Tonight, I crafted a diamond shovel and made a ton of these bamboo blocks, funded the restaurant, and spent the rest of the night building the platform. The next day, I built more of the platform, planted plants, and planted trees, even though trees are plants, and spent the rest of the day building the platform. Guys, I think I made this a bit too big. I was very optimistic with how big this island was going to be, a bit too optimistic, and while thinking about my thoughts, I chopped up more trees. Day 21, the platform was finished, and now it was time to build this into the island it was meant to be, and not just some this basically. So I got my shovel and hit as much sand as possible around here while getting rained on. Can you guys subscribe? Hitting sand in a rainstorm for this long is just a massive bruh. Why? I'd really, I'd appreciate it. I will upload more. I, I will. You, I got this. Thank you guys. I went back and forth between placing and mining the sand and lit this place up with torches because I was not having the island turn into an apocalypse movie. Now this place was looking like an actual island and not just a bunch of dirt and trees. That's it. That's good. Yeah, checklist. Day 22, I crafted the shears and got to hitting the trees again. Shears break so easily. Chop a couple of trees down. You're already through like 20 shears. Yo, what am I going to do with all these? I think I'm going to use a lot of these leaves for under the base. Using wood for that, it, it takes way too long. I repaired the axe from all the chopping, stored everything in the chest, and chopped down the bamboo. What could I do with the bamboo? Imagine a giant bamboo fortress. That'd be sick, yeah. After the daydreaming I was doing, on day 23, I said hi to the cows, created a bookshelf for the future enchantment table. Today I collected a lot of sand to place around extending the island. And back down to the mines I went. Bro, why? Why is there always a creeper waiting for me down here? Every time I come down to the mines, something is waiting. The mobs were going crazy down here, and I didn't have a ton of torches because I used them all, so I had to improvise. I went on a mob killing spree down here. I must have had the highest kill streak you could get. I ended up going in circles around this cave, looking for diamonds or anything I could find, but got barely anything. I crafted a diamond pickaxe and left that mess. When I made it to the surface, I I put everything into a chest instantly, then farmed while I thought about life and what I was gonna do next on this island. According to my calculations, I'm out of coal, so I'm gonna get taken over by zombies, which is not good. So back to mining, I was for a coal. I feel like coal is literally everywhere all the time and I could not find it, it was so rare. Here's me casually breaking physics. I got enough coal, but I was out of diamonds basically, so instead of going to the surface and running out, I thought to stay down here. The underwater area led to a big cave, of course with mobs everywhere, so I fought them off and lit it up around here. Finally started finding diamonds. Yo, how far is this cave gonna go? This thing is huge. Now we know why the mobs weren't spawning in the mob grinder this whole time. Towards the nights of day 24, I went to the surface. Bro, we are, look how far away we are from the base. We gotta swim all the way back. This is the best food I've had in how, what day is it? 24? Day in 24 days. So I took a little swim, stored everything and smelted the iron and chefed up the food, fed the cows. All right, why? Got arachnophobia, man. Can't be fighting spiders. Before heading off to sleep, that was productive. That was like, that was a productive day. Day 25, those happy bats were having a great morning on fire. And so was I. So I fed the chicken for the first time. And how many days is it? Like, like 20 days since I fed these dudes. 
Today it was finally happening. I crafted this bamboo here and began building the enchantment room. I didn't really know what I was doing. I just tried to make the roof look cool and use bamboo because why not? Look at that. All right, what am I doing? I, I don't know what I'm trying to do, but it might be working. I don't know. Day 26, I did some crazy stuff throughout the nights and now it looks like this. I crafted a new axe because the other one wasn't doing well. Yeah, the villager approves. Over the next several days, I built enough around here so this became a house. By day 30, the enchantment room was finished. I took a break and strolled around the ocean, just sailing, looking back at everything we've built on the island so far, which was slowly turning out to be good. Before returning to make more bookshelves, then enchanting the axe and pickaxe. I crafted another pickaxe that got efficiency three and unbreaking three, luckily. But man's got trapped. What happened to this dude? What happened to him? I did a bit of farming again, trying to make progress and filling the giant hole in that I made here. Day 31. What type of island doesn't have a pier? That's what I was thinking. I thought, let's build a pier. And so that's what I got to working on. I gathered everything needed for that. There's really no other way for me to narrate this just by building things. A wandering wanderer showed up. So I want to see what he's going to flex on us. Yo, what is this? A goldfish here. This man, he really is out here flexing on us. So you know what I did? I bought slime and a fern. I think I bought the slime so I could build a rope. I could have just took out the trader to do that. I farmed throughout the night. On day 32, I made a nether portal crafted a shield and brought gold before heading into destruction. Are you guys ready for this? I'm not ready for this. I traded with the piglins, getting a bunch of basic things and got ripped off a lot. I played tag with a ghast, did some boat parkour. I was having a lot of fun in the nether and collected glowstone. Oh, look at that. We have found another fortress. This is probably bad, honestly. I'm probably gonna die down here. I built over to the giant fortress and had one goal to find nether wart. I got gold, obsidian, dodged some mobs, and got the nether wart in one piece. I saw a bunch of blaze down here, which I used to my advantage. I took them out to get blaze rods and blaze powder for crafting potions. I just used the bow on everything that moved in this place. And now I had everything I need to fight the ender dragon, except for ender pearls. Luckily, there was an enchanted forest right next to me with these slendermen walking around. So I looked at them and they all freaked out. They got mad at me. <laughs> now that I had everything I needed, I returned to the nether portal and we are back in the base again. Nice. I said hi to the zombie villager, which I'm not sure if I mentioned, but one of the villagers went full zombie on me. To cure him, I crafted a brewing stand and glass bottles for a potion of weakness. The only thing I needed now was a mushroom, but unfortunately it's the only thing I did not have out of everything in these chests. The next day I crafted more bookshelves and placed them in the enchantment room and set sail off to find a single brown mushroom. This thing better not take a whole year to find or I'm not gonna need this. This video is not coming out for another 10 months. I spent the whole day looking around for this and found absolutely nothing, just the air and trees. But there were dogs over here, so I tamed them and spent the night going to war with mobs. On the nice morning of day 34, I found a cherry blossom biome. I like those things, so I chopped a bunch of them down. And since there were no mushrooms on the mainland, I decided to head back to the base. On the base, I spammed a bunch of trees before heading off to the nether to find mushrooms. I, I must have hit my head leaving the nether because there's literally mushrooms everywhere in this place. And I, I wasted so much time for nothing. This whole time, right here, look at that. That night, I crafted the spider eye and made potions of weakness. But I was missing one gold for a golden apple. I thought I had enough. Turns out I was still broke out here. I turned the saplings into trees and went back to my favorite place where uh, I couldn't see anything, the mines. And after a lot of hitting cobblestone, I found nothing. The next day, I returned to the surface and enchanted books, trying to get one with fortune, but that was not working out. A couple losers spawn in the mob grinder, so I used the bones for bone meal for the cherry blossom trees. And now this place looked a little bit better than before. I watched eggs fall from the sky and crafted eyes of ender before chopping down these trees so I could place more. Did planting and fed these guys. Dude, what am I gonna do with all these chickens? I planted more trees and made a soul sand area for nether wart near the nether portal. Y'all are not ready for my samurai skills. Yo, okay, this he is ready. Dang zombies, I tell you. The next day, I made bamboo blocks and dolphin dive straight down to the mining and caving again. Here we are, back at it again. Thousand more mobs. Let's go.
then came across a mine shaft. Okay, there's a spawner right in the entrance too. Okay, we got it. We're getting rid of it. The webs were annoying because I didn't have a sword. So made one of those and chopped down all of the webs. One of the chests down here had two diamonds in a name tag. So finally there was something good I got. I ventured more throughout here finding more annoying mobs and golden apples. Be gone to skeleton, walked in scolding lava. Big brain moves right there. And kept wandering around here until I made it to a part where this all opened up into a massive area. But this place was not it. I almost blew up the moment I stepped foot in here and now had the most most annoying spiders possible show up the ones that poison you and bring you down the half a heart but besides all that this place was pretty cool looking the mobs were everywhere down here though because i didn't have much torches and it was dark i resorted to just dodging everything going full on matrix mode with the skeletons so that was way too close okay we are i'm on the run again of course i made it to their spawner and looted around here getting way more than i needed i just came down here to get a single piece of gold to cure a villager now i'm in the middle of all of this after ducking and weaving an entire army of arrows i found the fountain of youth or something over here i don't know this little water section was filled with diamonds i spent a long time down here mining everything with silk touch so later when i got fortune i'd be set with diamonds eventually i got burnt out of the caves and wanted to breathe regular air for some time so back to the surface i went and it was storming beautiful weather we're having eh? the rain is honestly not so bad after spending all that time down there day 38 villager you are now cured after that good deed, the rain stopped and I unloaded everything I got from the mines, then erased more chicken from existence. And here he was, man's is alive and walking well. Sadly for him though, I'm gonna make a villager farm, so yeah. Tonight, I had a look at the farm area behind the house and it was a mess. Half the crops weren't even watered, so I... fixed that as best as I could and made up bamboo before the morning. Day 39, remember when there were only a few chicken? Well now, there's enough to feed a country. Every time I walked past them, I would get infinite eggs to just chuck into wherever I wanted to. I got a power three enchant on this book and forgot that it was for bows. Yeah, the main way I leveled up around here was farming and feeding the mobs over and over, which looking back was terrible. Terrible. What am I doing? I traded this guy carrots to level him up and wanted to get the aqua affinity enchant, but I was a couple levels off. The game couldn't just bargain with me. They just had to you know yeah yeah we broke out here it's tough life a single creeper let's go i was crying when i saw these things in the cave now we're we're loving the creepers yeah, no one likes creepers actually maybe if i go far away from the island they'll start spawning in the spawner deserted island looking clean from out here not bad yeah that plan did not work at all i hung around it for the night thinking that something might just fall from the sky but nothing happened yo what was that i'm hearing things now guys day 40 was time for the planting and farming brother are way too many chickens i accidentally open this gate it's gonna be a whole tsunami of them what am i doing right now bro y'all y'all gotta go i cooked up an army of steak and enchanted this shovel with efficiency four and unbreaking three this makes it a thousand times easier i use that dirt to fill in the blank spot back here bit by bit a rainstorm out at sea on a deserted island. That's the life right there. That's, that's what we're living. The next day, I said hello to some flaming birds again and left out to sea to gather more of the dirt. I turned this whole island into an impact crater, basically. Yo, what the? What is a dolphin doing in here? How in the world? This thing's going crazy. I tried to save the dolphin by destroying all the walls. Eventually, it was saved, but at the cost of the dirt island. Got all the water just caved in. So back to the main island, I found free steak and filled in where the water was finally something's starting to work here by the end of the night it was filled in and i got rid of the other farm because why was it even there at this point i began the next project of extending the sand part of the island making a beach of some sort yo what's up man there are way too many chicken on this island Throughout the rest of the night, I extended the other side of here. And this place was honestly way too huge at this point, but there's no turning back.
how am I gonna finish this island in 100 days? You know, we, we're going for it. It don't matter. Day 42. What up, chicken? I placed the compost here, so the villager is now employed. I bought a few apples. What was I even doing with apples? I had no idea. But I wanted to make other farms, like an iron farm, but I needed more villagers. So first, I have to make a villager farm. I started building that behind the mob grinder, which this area back here would be the farm section. I finished the majority of it today. But the underwater part got annoying and I had to drain a whole little area down here. Okay, what? How in the world am I gonna drain this? I'm just gonna fill it in with cobblestone or whatever I got here. The next day, the villager farm was nearly done, and I decided to enchant books since I was over level 30 now, and I upgraded my pickaxe to efficiency 4. Now, the villager farm was complete. That's good, man. Welcome. Welcome to your new home for the next 100 days. I brought the villagers over, and now I just had to wait for the other villagers to spawn in. Yeah, I wasn't- I was not waiting outside the villager farm, so I went to sleep. Day 44, I visited the mob grinder. <laughs> did a bit of planting but why is there so many sheep over here i did not did not think this was gonna happen while i was feeding the cows i accidentally opened the gate so now the entire island had just been taken over all right that is a lot of cows fences were made and so was a new gate but trying to herd them all up was a pain. Yeah, this is not it. I tried to fix this, but there was only so much I could do at this point. Hey, problem solved. Wow, I literally spent the entire day trying to fix a mess that I created. Tonight, the wandering trader showed up again to just make fun of me, I guess. And I bought one of these mangrove things from him because I wanted to see what this would look like. Let's plant that here. Yeah, the nether wart was ready. And so was the glass I had smelting. Bro, how did a, how did a zombie spawn? I literally have torches on every inch of this island day 45 all right i am heading back to the mainland because i need more sand of course i gathered sand at a thousand miles an hour to fill in the rest of the island y'all are not ready for this edit there that's, that's clean to be honest this is gonna take a long time to do so how about we do one of these day 40 is it six Hey, look at this. Done already. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I lost a few brain cells doing that right there. The next day, I started work on the iron farm since I had the villager farm and the villagers ready. And nearly got struck by lightning halfway through. Okay, yeah, I'm out of here. That was, that was way too close. I'm not getting struck by lightning. Out of all ways to die, I do not want it to be by lightning. I went to sleep to avoid the thunderstorm and started back on it the next day. Hey, dolphin, how you doing? Dude's going crazy over there. Yeah, a bit too crazy. I did not ask for this, man. I continued building and draining this out during the night. And then the mangrove sapling was now a tree. And this this clearly did not belong on the island. At day 49, I tried bringing villagers from the villager farm over to the iron farm. But the villagers had other plans. Alright, I underestimated these villagers, I'm not gonna lie. They kept running over to the beds. So I tried using 4D chests on them. And eventually, they made their way to the iron section. I still needed chests and hoppers. So I went back over to the supply area, made those, and spent the night trying to place a chest in the right direction. I've spent the last 10 minutes trying to get this chest to face this way and it is not work bro It is not working and then I left back to the mainland to collect more dirt I got a zombie angry and spend the rest of the night on this dang farm still The next day I did the usual and collected nether wart why is this tree still here? Every time I walk past it, I'm just like, bro, why haven't I why haven't I chopped this thing down yet? It's been 50 days and I still haven't made a chest room. That that is not not good. I've just been putting everything in the corner of this island. And so it, it was time for a change. I got bamboo and began creating this work of art. Look at that masterpiece. That is how it's done right there. Okay, I still need a zombie, apparently, for the iron farm to work. Hey, right there. He's waiting for me. Y'all already know. I spent five minutes trying to trap them so I could just bring one with me. Okay, let's hope this works now. If it's a success, my dreams are slowly coming true. Except somehow this villager almost escaped and ruined the entire operation. Yo, this villager thinks he's doing some big brain stuff. He actually is. He's literally, I don't know how he did it. The next morning was great. I was ambushed by a creeper and a skeleton to start my day. I added more bookshelves to the mess, crafted a diamond sword, and enchanted it with sharpness 2 and knockback 2. Then got back to building and extending the chest room. 
Yo, you got people out here building the universe in Minecraft. Here I am struggling with a little bamboo room. I was losing my sanity by the minutes. I even tried fighting an iron golem. Yo, this is not smart, but we are doing it. Hey, not too bad. You know what? That's how we do it right there. I planted enough bamboo to fix the whole ozone layer and really wanted to get fortune on a pickaxe. So my plan was to enchant as many iron pickaxes as I could until I got it. The next day, I did a lot of enchanting and eventually got fortune one, then fortune two showed up. I used the iron from the iron farm to craft the tinfoil armor and left back on a journey to the mainland, but didn't get too far. Bro, the entire chicken population just decided to live in the ocean. It was at a portal. I got cool melons and a golden apple from this chest, so things were the same. The sun was setting and I decided to jump the guardians. And of course, I got mining fatigue, but it was worth it. Yo, we're coming back and we're pulling up. We're gonna get these guardians, man. We're taking them down. That is a nice sunset. Anything good for the helmet? What we got here? Not too bad, not too bad. Why is there a cow out here still? I went to a little samurai mode on the bamboo to prepare for the voyage. We're looking for shipwrecks. And you know what we're gonna find? We're gonna find some shipwrecks and some maps to uh, some lost treasure. And somehow I actually found a shipwreck. I found paper, potatoes, ate some water, and there it was, a buried treasure map. What do you know? This is, this is gonna be a wild journey. I spent the rest of the night sailing off into the distance, pursuing my dreams. Day 53, I trekked over the island, getting closer and closer to the X on the map. It wasn't too far away, and I had a couple diamonds and iron. I sailed back to the mainland, got mining fatigue from some random guardian in the ocean, stored everything, and got back to work on building the chest room so I could store stuff. You know what would be cool? If the mob grinder had a tree underneath of it so it didn't just look like this boring thing. Well, that didn't work. I felt like this was a simulation, farming every day on this island. It was getting tough trying to find purpose besides grow and expand. I checked on the villagers and turns out they were zombies now. So yeah, that's nice. I cured them from themselves and partied with the chickens on day 54. I spent a day going all ninja mode on the bamboo again, hit up the mob grinder and getting the iron farm back up and working. There we go. Hopefully the iron works. Moment of truth. It's a golem. We're back. I then just built more of the building here throughout the rest of the night. Here we are all alone on a deserted island, just building away. I spent the majority of the next day adding bamboo to this. I just realized these cows and whatever, the sheep and stuff, they've been getting rained on the past 55 days. But maybe I should make a hut over this. Instead of a hut, I decided to plant a bunch of cherry blossoms around them so it wasn't boring. Not so bad. It's not looking too bad. I feel like this could be a problem later if I try and build something, but yeah, we'll see. The next day, I fed the chicken until I reached level 30 and created a pickaxe, which I enchanted with fortune 2 and efficiency 4. I combined that with my other pickaxe, so we're basically... We, we're taking over the whole the whole minecraft earth now now that i had fortune i could break the ores that i had sitting around from silk touch i got 16 diamonds 65 iron and 35 gold out of all that i had no diamond armor still rocking the tin foil out here so i crafted diamond armor and smelted the iron because now it was time to go to the end yeah all right we gotta fight that dragon though i waited around walking in circles crafted arrows tried enchanting to get infinity but i wasn't a high enough level and now we are off following the eyes to demise i made it to the mainland having to dodge mobs everywhere they were a little too excited okay i think it's right over here if i'm not mistaken when i entered in i got lost again yo we made it to the library everyone's favorite place in the world yeah it's not guys i destroyed the library and then i found this random chest with an armor trim i have like hardly any idea about this armor trim stuff but you know what we're gonna get full maxed out armor maybe i should have done that before fighting the ender dragon i continued getting lost in here until the next day where i finally found the portal finally okay took a good 10 years but we made it we're good i did the usual when you go to the end you just shoot everything with the bow I shot all of them and started taking down the dragon. Oh, this is not good. Bro, not about that. Right when this thing was about to be gone, dragon slayed, finished, KO'd. He decided to just toss me 100 yards up in the air. But that did not matter because the dragon was done for. Hey, let's go. We got the dragon. 
it was day 100, I'd be a lot happier right now. We gotta get the dragon egg and put it somewhere in the base. I still had an island to return to, so I collected the egg, then cannonballed back to it. All right, so now the ender dragon, he's done. What do I do now? Firstly, we gotta renovate this base, and I gotta place this dragon egg somewhere. Right next to the bed it is. Since I was a high level, I did a lot of enchanting, since now I wasn't broke anymore, basically. Then crafted these apples that just saved me from everything. You ever wonder what it sounds like to chop down 100 bamboo straight? Well, so do I. Y'all y'all think I'm really gonna edit that? Y'all are crazy. Yeah, that's the sound of the building that I'm gonna have to do tonight. Day 58, the building was done. I enchanted my sword a lot, and things were going well. But this island still looked a little off, and there was an area I had to explore still. All right, we are here, and I do not remember the way. Great. After walking in circles a lot, I finally made it back. Hey, would you look at that? And we're back in the end, this place again. I told the Endermen their block collection sucks, and caused the stampede. That quickly ended. <laughs> And now I had enough pearls to travel across dimensions. So maybe I should just build up to it. I'm trying to die 59 days into this. All right, this is a lot of end. Time to find an end city. I just rocketed off right in front of me and there just so happened to be an end city, literally right there. I made it directly below the ship and built up at superhuman speed. There was only one shulker in here, but it didn't matter because I found a diamond chest plate and now I could fly. The air is now mine. Look at this. I've conquered the air, got the private island chilling and have diamonds like we're, we're just rich. I visited these end cities, seeing what they're all about, just doing some tourism around the end, really. You know, it's more annoying than losing these little things. They look more like a Pokemon or a mob. I'm just looking around for some more armor, but I'm now faced with this. We got an, an end chest. I'll take it. Bro, I just broke the end chest. Bro, I'm literally dodging bullets out here. Like, we're in the Matrix again. It's like back when the skeletons were shooting me. Hey, we have conquered the end city. Yeah, you know what? It's lonely from the top. The next day, I used my interdimensional portal to travel back to my private island I built with my bare hands. And made diamond pants, because why not? I also added enchants to the helmets. Just some casual side quests. I stored everything in the finished chest room. Farmed interdimensional mushrooms and was on a mission to conquer the nether and obtain netherite. Last time I was here, I was a lonely man on an island by myself. Now I've conquered the air and have a pickaxe that pierces the earth's core. I drilled through the nether on a hunt for the most valuable resource that exists, and eventually I found it, netherrack. I'm just kidding, I'm just, I got ancient ore, guys. I wanted to make a netherite pickaxe, so that meant I needed a few more of these. I spent the next day in here mining and left with four ancient ore. And look at this dude, right now you're looking at a man go through a rude awakening. I was so confused why I couldn't make netherite armor. So I looked it up and discovered you needed a trim to make netherite tools in this 1.20 update. Yeah, tough. No, bruh. Are you serious? I gotta travel back to the nether. We got a journey ahead of us. The main way to get this upgrade trim was in a chest in the nether. And the chances of coming across that weren't that great. Got some gunpowder I found in the mob grinder, then crafted enough rockets to send the earth out of orbit. Okay, we are ready. I got, a, I got so much rockets, bro. There's no way I'm running out. Right, it's time to find the Bastion Remnants. I searched so far around this place, I could have mapped a whole planet out of it. Felt like I was wandering the surface of Mars. I claimed this place as my own, casually strolling around, picking and choosing from the chests. Day 62, I was flying around, crashed into this place. Here I was surrounded by piglins, and then one of them just boots me upside the head. I was freaking out on edge. I was l randomly mining, and I somehow found a chest in the Remnant and it's got what I need. What the heck? I'll take it. I was looking forward to leaving the nether. I caught on fire a few times and said goodbye to John Pork. Casually collected blocks of gold before I was gone back to the nether portal. Guys, that was actually, that was very eventful. Yeah, I don't think I'm ever returning to that place. Every time I, every time I come here, I say that. I added some diamonds to it so I could craft another. I was trying to craft a lectern, but I forgot how to do it. So I guess I'm just a noob still. One thing I was missing was mending. So I picked up a villager, then placed and destroyed the lectern until mending was an option to get. But here's the deal. I wasn't paying 36 emeralds for the book. That is, that's too much emeralds for me. So the only solution was to turn the villager into a zombie. 
so we get that 50% off discount. I don't understand the logic, but it's the Minecraft physics. Eventually, after a while of waiting, they were chill, but the only problem was the mending disappeared. So after placing the lectern for a while, it was back again, and I still ended up needing 13 emeralds for a single one. I could fly, had a private island, and a pickaxe that can cut through anything, but couldn't buy a book from a villager. I traded the villager a lot of carrots and got mending finally, so that was through. I crafted another anvil, put mending on the pickaxe, and crafted the netherite pickaxe. I spent the next day transferring the items from the chest outside to the ones inside until everything was in order, and now I didn't have to get my chest on the side of the beach. I added trees around here because it was lacking. The entire building was also lacking. The trees are not looking too bad, actually. Right after I said that, I destroyed the trees. Was a good villager. That man said nope. <laughs> he said, I'm out. He said, I am out of here. What could I add to the island around here to make it cooler of an island? I put everything I didn't need into a chest, upgraded the silk touch pickaxe, and went mining for resources. Look where we are. Back down in the mines again. This is tough. I broke physics with this pickaxe down here, getting all the stone I could carry, and then went for a little nice swim 10,000 feet below the surface. I'm leaving these caves, bro. Can't take it anymore. Yo, these dolphins are legends. Look at this. They're clutch. I emptied my pockets of all the rocks I picked up down there. You know what? I'm thinking, what if I just got rid of this house? I decided to use this area and resources to create a temple. That was the idea, at least. I searched around on YouTube and found a tutorial to follow through, but a spoiler alert, the build went a complete different direction. This is already looking way better than the little square that I had made before it. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Over the next several days, I went back and forth between building and mining, back down to the mines, and back to building. Apparently, I have to fill this whole thing with sand. I don't know why, but I'll just do it. Look at the villager. That mean, the man's just living his life out here in the square if i hit this what'll happen will this be gone yep well uh you're not sure we'll be seeing that thing again here's me almost dying to a creeper in the mines bruh imagine i almost died just now then an eight-legged monster interrupted my building why are the spiders always freaking out like they haven't seen light in years or something I filled part of the base with water because it looked cool. Yo, villager. What up, man? What should I name him? From now on, you're Velardo Ricardo, part ruler of the island, king of villagers. Yeah, I don't know what else to what else to call him. I left off back to the mainland to get fresh air, and the dogs decided to show up. Yo, the dogs, man. It's been years since I've seen these. I was actually looking for a dark spruce tree so the island would be less boring. And surprisingly, this took a while to find, but I found one eventually sitting around here i collected the entire forest and went back to the island dude i'm so far out here right now we went ways into the mainland eventually i made it back to the island and placed these trees and this is when i realized i was way in over my head on this one yeah this temple is gonna be massive too massive that, that's a problem I decided to just build a house on top of what I've already had going here. I farmed the spruce trees, turning lemonade into lemons, and built the house out. By day 72, the house was officially built. I may have gone a bit overboard with the house, but it's better than it was before. Dang, I forgot the farm was over here. Looks like we got another job ahead of us. Just connected the earth to my house. Yep, what am I doing, bro? I went to chop down a forest of bamboo to build more bridges. Day 73. I watched the sunrise while planning out how I was going to make this less boring. Sorry, villagers, I'm, I am breaking your bed. A simple answer to what this island needs was just something more natural looking. I created a bamboo path and added trees along the edges. Yo, the bamboo is looking, it is looking lopsided. We gotta fix that. I made more bamboo, placed more bamboo, and this island was either gonna be a utopia that thrives or a dystopia where everything slowly decays. So to bring my vision into reality, I needed dirt. So, guys, I went to the mines again, and dirt I found. Okay, this is gonna be a lot of trees. We'll see how this goes. I got more wood, broke my kneecaps, and built a hut for the villagers. Chicken, this is not for you. I'm sorry. If you're wondering why there's a thousand chicken in the ocean, every time I picked up eggs, I just chucked them out there. So yeah, I think this is actually gonna look good. This is not bad looking. Day 74, I added fences and more trees around it, replaced that bottom layer with some wood to look better, and got leaves from the chest to be placed around this little area. When in doubt, just put leaves on everything.
waiting for trees to grow is just like watching paint dry so i wanted to do something and decided to move on to the nether portal area i added a little pathway to it destroyed a few trees did the regular leaving of the trees yo what is this dude doing and then stared cinematically for 10 seconds okay i'm not having this turn into a zombie island oh the real question is, what should I do with this thing? If I touch it, it teleports. If I break below it, it'll sink to the bottom of the ocean. I took a nap in the hut, and on day 75, I wanted to get this nether portal thing figured out. I broke leaves underneath the island, replacing them with wood, farmed that nether wart, and destroyed a portal connecting the fabric of space and time. This farm is going somewhere else. I'm not putting it here. Now it wasn't in a boring corner. I spent the night doing a bunch of dumb stuff with trees. And there it is, the tree portal. Day 76. As I waited for the rainforest to grow, I cut down and placed bamboo behind the chest room just to make things blend in a little bit better. It's time to make the path that I've been procrastinating this whole time. Y'all are not ready for this edit. And look at that path is done now we have a full canopy over the walkway to the base that's what i'm talking about right there the iron golem has been sitting in the same spot for the past like 20 days i think we gotta check up on that dude as night came i continued losing my sanity making bamboo paths around the base and on day 77 the rainforest grew in a little too well and i had another job on my hands we're chopping down the whole rainforest you know what, instead of erasing this, what if I just made a tree house? I felt like I made it to the top of Everest, but I was just on top of a few trees. I cleared out the top area and turned it into a platform so that I could see everything from the base. Next on the list of things I still hadn't made here was an easy entrance to the mines. Me going down to the mines is like grandparents going to school. So I built a staircase down there, but the annoying part would be draining it. Uh, hmm, I'm gonna have to fill this entire thing with sand, aren't I? Yeah, that sucks. But we doing it. We already, we're grinding, man. Narrator. Bro, what in there? A narrator, bro, this narrator. thing is scary. The next day, I filled this entire thing with sand, then dug it all out, and just like that, the mine is done. Cha -ching! Yeah, look at that. We just got an achievement. I made that achievement up, guys. I did a bit of mining, then added a sign to it. Yeah, I couldn't come up with any other creative name, so that's what the mine's called. I strolled around the base, looking at everything, then looked in the chests for 10 minutes looking for gold. I'm beginning to understand why people organize the chests. Eventually, I crafted the golden carrots. And by that time, it was the end of the night. Yo, I forgot the Guardian guys were a thing. Now that we're OP, we gotta pay them a visit. We're gonna exterminate their entire clan. Yeah. I carried the boats to the Guardian that's been haunting me with mining fatigue for the past 50 days on this island. And I was ready to hit him with the 1 2 Mayweather. Yo, you got nothing on me, man. You know what? Okay, they might have something. They might have a little something. Uh, dang. I got- I became too powerful. I survived down here, breathing through doors, eliminating the whole clan. But they just kept spawning and were never ending. I didn't really know what to do at this point. I wasn't gonna mine their whole entire village to the ground. I took out a few elder guardians while down here, and I did not know how big these monuments actually were. These things are annoying. I'm getting out of here. Eventually, I got out of the ocean monument and was not a fan of that place. I'm going back to my base and I'm going to sleep. That's what I'm doing. Day 81, I saw air for the first time on the next day and made it back to the island. All I got from all that was a couple of these prismarine shards. Regardless, I made the best of it and crafted sea lanterns, which I set next to the bed. Wow, look at that. All that hard work. Now the villagers have two lights. Let's go. Yo, how did this man even get in here? This is why. Uh, this island confuses me. You know what would be cool? If this place had a beacon and that was the next goal and that meant i'd have to take on the wither so to prepare i went to the nether yeah I, I was going back to the nether you heard that to get enough ancient ore to have full netherite armor yo we're back in the nether let's make this quick even though i have to get how much ancient ore is this like 30 or something we're doing it i've been mining for only a little bit and i've found so much ancient ore 
Why is finding ancient ore easier than diamonds for me right now? Stuff is everywhere. And so was the lava. Couldn't forget about that. I mined around there for a while. And on day 82, I got out of the nether. I returned to the island and threw all the ancient ore I found in the furnace. Next, I was going to need more smithing templates for full netherite armor. The things that I had to use to upgrade it. Which meant I was now on a mission for diamonds. I mined through the earth's core, finding a whole lot of nothing. Yeah, uh, I'm going to need to look out for those. I found diamonds, but I also found an army. I was dodging arrows again, left and right everywhere. Bro, that is a lot of zombies. Yep, I'm turning the other way. I ran around here doing a little bit of parkour, just lighting up the area as much as I could. Eventually, I got to a spot where I thought I was good and in the clear, but now I'd search around this area to see what was here. You are not Spider-Man. Sorry. I just ruined his dreams. I found diamonds here in a dungeon area that had sharpness, five, and chance, so that was good. Bro, what am I doing right now? No, there is nothing in this place. Oh, there is diamonds after all. Never mind. A lot of diamonds then. Day 83, I traveled across more valleys before mining again in a straight line. I thought these crystal things sounded cool. Just listen to them. So I mined them all. All the diamonds I needed were obtained, and now I was on my way out of the caves. I found a lush biome area while I was here, so I got a few things around here and caught an axolotl, because why would you not want to have a pet axolotl on a deserted island? And now I was headed to see the daylight. Yo, so many NPCs trying to stop me from succeeding out here. Do you want these hands, man? When I breathed air for the first time in years, I had no clue where I was. I was in the middle of nowhere. Hey, yo, anybody out there? Anybody? Yeah, why do I even, why do I even talk sometimes? I know there's nobody out there. Oh, let's go, your boy, dolphin. I made it to a dark island at 3 a.m. and was expecting Herobrine or something to pop up from behind a tree, but that didn't happen. I just got some wood, left out of there, and made a boat. I was in the exploring mood and found these little underwater structures that had chests inside of them, but none of them really had anything besides like potatoes. I was on a mission to find the island I spent the last 83 days on and wandered the lost seas until I spotted something that would change everything. Yo, okay, if the chicken, if the chicken is here this way, that means that the island is somewhere nearby. I followed the line of floating chicken and it led me right to the island. Feels good to be back on the sand and on the island. Now I could finally craft the smithing upgrade. I made a mistake. I need one more netherite to upgrade all the armor. Dang. I wanted to see the nether as little as I possibly could. So I went straight down, got the ancient ore, and went straight back up. Yeah, Piglin followed me back and tried conquering the island, but we were not having that. I got the last of the netherites and made the netherite armor. I got it on everything except for the legs because I wanted to enchant that first. So we had to level up to level 30. I farmed the carrots and traded with these guys, then decided to feed the army of chicken I had going on. The next day we reached level 30. So now we got all netherites and I enchanted that with protection four and unbreaking three. So we were chilling. I enchanted my sword with sharpness five and dripped out the netherite armor with the trims I'd found. I've got no idea if these are rare or not, but we're using them. You guys know what this means. It's time to fight the wither. But first there were things I had to do. I had an idea to add mini islands around the island, each themed to different biomes. And and I wanted to get the outline for that done and prepared before I went out and fought whatever. Okay, these islands are gonna be sick. I built these circles around the island and grew a bunch of birch trees. I thought this would look better than just regular oak, but I might just end up using regular oak anyway. Then we had some visitors check out the island. Yo, welcome, welcome. Hope you guys have a nice stay. Yeah, they had a great time. I finished the other circle throughout the night and the next day greeted the chicken. I think I'm gonna have to get rid of all these things at one point, sadly. The walkway was placed in the wrong direction, so that got broken down. And I remade it so it bridged out to both islands. The chicken approves. Look at that. Now I have to do the other side and then place wood around here so it's not just boring. I continued tree farming and circle building until the other side was complete and throughout the night I placed wooden slabs around here. Day the next day, every time I woke up I'd have to run down to the front to get to the bottom section of the island, but nah, I'm, I'm cutting down this tree. We're making a bridge. 
the island still had its problems, so there it is. I made a little bridge on the side. Now I can walk to the other side. I know I built up a cow army capable of conquering the world, but it's gotta be, it's gotta be slimmed down a little bit so I can walk to the other islands. You see that? Now I can walk around here normally. Yo, what do you say to me? Nah. <laughs> Yeah, you see I have this bulletproof armor, but it doesn't have mending So we're gonna need to find that trader guy again. What up desert dude? I feel like I've got ripped off every time I talk to this guy 16 bucks for a book. Oh heck no We are my pockets are crying right now after being humbled by a villager I farmed and was eventually able to put mending on my elytra today I completely forgot that I had a whole army of villagers ready So I got to thinking maybe I could start up a little business a side hustle or something the plan was to level up toolsmiths get iron from the iron farm and then trade the iron for emeralds they pretty solid pretty simple no nah, i don't know what went wrong but nothing went right and it all descended into chaos yo what is this dude doing what are you doing man keep trying to sleep in the bed we got a little bit of emeralds but that really did not help i crafted rockets golden apples a bow and enchanted some items then visited my least favorite place again and we're back let's hope this all goes easy and is planned I need to get the wither skull heads to summon the wither and this sword has looting three on it so theoretically according to the laws of the minecraft universe and all it should be fine but first we've got to infiltrate a fortress how long is this fortress gonna take to find i still haven't found it there it is okay we're going in i challenged a skeleton to a quick scoping 1v1 but he wasn't about that and we were in so where are these little wither dudes these things really thought they were gonna do something i wandered around this maze fighting the skeletons until eventually had three wither skulls okay i'm gone not about the I'm, i don't like the nether and the next day i dodged through the nether eventually making it back to the island i enchanted swords hoping to get smite on one of them because smite is good against the wither but i ended up getting nothing well i guess it's time to fight the wither i heard the best place to fight the wither was underground i went as far down in the mines as i could to spawn it and was ready okay it's time to spawn in this wither yo what is it doing Well, the wither was pretty easy. We got the nether star, so it was time to make the beacon. I made it back to the surface, told the villagers about everything that just went down, crafted the beacon, and began building it right underneath the house in the center, making it as big as possible. I went into this without a plan and didn't even know I was going to build this base, let alone a beacon. Everything just worked out perfectly somehow. I made it out of iron since I had a whole iron farm chilling back here. And there it was. The beacon was finished. What should we add to this thing? Regeneration and speed. That's what we're putting on it. The deserted island was looking great, but there was still one more thing for it to be complete. The island biomes. To start, I deforested the trees around the base. Stared at nothing for 30 seconds and made slabs, then fell asleep. Day 91, I placed slabs around the outside walkway on each side. Then did the same thing with the leaves, so this walkway didn't just look boring. Which biome should I start with first? I think I'm gonna start with start with the plains biome, the most basic one. I kinda already put a couple trees over here just for extra space. By the end of the night, I started filling in the plains biome with just dirt but I ended up running out, so I needed more. Day 92, I double checked the chests looking for dirt and found nothing. And my enchanted shovel broke, so I was left with a regular diamond shovel. All right, aerial view of the island. We're checking it out. Yeah, looking clean. Wow. I'd say we actually didn't do too bad with this one. It's looking good. These islands are done. It's going to be insane. I made it to a nearby island and pulled a hairbrine, just destroying everything. Okay, I think that should be enough dirt. Heading back to the deserted island. I'm thinking for the plains, I'll add a couple trees, some flowers maybe, and a hill. I had grass that I placed here, but I wasn't sure how long it would take for it to turn, so I might have to go back and get some more grass. I forgot I had the beacon. If I just turn haste on, it's gonna be way, way faster to break these trees. And the trees are done. Yo, what the heck? What are you doing, Dolph? Just pulled up out of nowhere. Torches. Yeah, I didn't place them in time, and now the whole parade decided to show up. Zombie outbreak on the island. My last two brain cells thought if I used bone meal on grass, it would spread to the dirt. It was worth a shot, okay? You know, I just ended up placing more grass till the morning around here. It's day 93, and I know what you're thinking. How is he gonna build four of these islands in seven days? 
and well i don't know y your guess is good as good as mine today i got started on the nether section filling it in with netherrack what am i gonna do with this place um i'm thinking a cool ruined like portal design would be pretty sick but first i got a terraformant i just added a little bit of blocks to it some nether stuff like magma blocks and whatnot and it wasn't looking too bad how am i supposed to get crying obsidian for a ruined portal apparently you can trade piglins for it so we were going back to the nether again hey you know what some of these crazy trees actually might look cool this pig with a mohawk wants to smoke i found a piglin to trade with and after getting basically robbed i went back to the island with every Everything I needed. Why are all the chickens just going on the nether area? I placed a pile of glowstone and set up spots for the trees. How many trees should we add to this? I think that's enough. Now on to the ruin portal. I converted the blackstone into polished, then bricks, and crafted chains. Then got to putting this all together. This place is a whole vibe right now. Look at this. The nether section is done. All right, day 94. We're checking out the plains area to see if it's ready. Hey, yo, we got an intruder. No, I'm gonna launch this man's into the ocean. You know what? It's looking good. I think it just needs a couple touches. I added a few hills and we'll probably put more flowers in here later. I threw cobblestone into the furnace because the next is the caves island. Yeah, I decided to mine with silk touch down in the mines instead of waiting 10 years for that furnace to get ready. I had enough stone now, so I filled the island in with it. I didn't have enough stone. Yo, chill. Oh my gosh, that was close. So I'm back with more stone and time to get this thing ready. Me fighting my last two brain cells. Wow, look at that. It's never looked better. Literally just plain stone. If it looks like I know what I'm doing, I have no idea. If you don't get the idea yet, this is supposed to be a cave that I'm building. I picked up these crystals back down in the mines a while ago and added them throughout this cave to make it a little less boring. The next day, the cave was almost complete. And to make it more real, I got ores and added them around here and also added some lush stuff that I found that I forgot that I had and then finished the plain section with a few flowers. Wow. Both islands are done. Everything is slowly starting to come together. The next day, day 96. Today I flew up to get a view of everything and look at this. This actually turned out good. We still have one more island to go, which is the end island, of course. And things are looking really good, actually, especially with no plan. Y'all ready for this transition? We're going to the end. I flew over to the end, said what's up to this frog, and got lost yet again in this maze. Okay, that took way too long. I got to mining everything around here my items and armor were getting low on durability so i caused a stampede of endermen and they were not about it i didn't want my elytra to break mid-flight while i was in the end since it had mending i leveled it up taking out endermen after it was pretty decent i made it through the portal and collected things around here like end flowers and then completely destroyed this end city building and after getting everything i needed I headed back to the island. Finally, the last island. Okay, hopefully I got everything I needed because I'm not going. I'm not going all the way back there. Spoiler alert: I, I had to end up going back there. I filled in this area with the end stone, then lined the outer layer with obsidian, placed the chorus fruit, and got to creating an area for the dragon egg. How am I? going to get this thing that's the real question if i break below it it falls into the water if i hit it it teleports i tried building a whole contraption for this but that didn't work instead i just hit it until it spawned at an easier spot to get it the dragon egg was secured on day 98 i placed the dragon egg but bad news i'm gonna have to go all the way back to the end that is tough I didn't have enough obsidian to complete the outer edge of the island. I was trying to think of the ways to get obsidian, so just going to the end instead of traveling to the inner core looking for obsidian would be faster. And on day 99, I arrived back at everyone's favorite place. I spent the entire day here just hitting obsidian to make sure I had enough this time around. When I returned, I placed the leftover obsidian, finished the build, and got that good sleep. And we made it to 100 days on the deserted island. Here it is in all its glory. Not too bad, this is looking clean. Looking at the whole island, I think it was actually good. And this was a little harder than I thought it would be. Thanks for watching. I'd really appreciate it if you guys hit that subscribe button. Drop a like if you wanna see more. Have a nice day, peace out, and God bless.